What up YouTube, back again. Told y'all I was staying consistent. This is my second video in a week, so y'all told y'all I'm on my grind for real. And y'all can see I'm already pushing out another video for y'all. But I'm gonna get straight into the video. Y'all probably reading the title and thinking like a thousand dollars is not a lot, but if you're a clothing brand just starting out and your first 1K, it's gonna mean something to you. So, but yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all how I made my first $1,000 with my clothing brand, you know, all the steps that I did with my clothing brand. First thing I did, made a TikTok account. If you got a clothing brand, you should be on TikTok right now. So yeah, I had a TikTok account. Uh, I started the TikTok account about November and I grew it to like, I had a, I started my TikTok account like November. I grew the account to over a thousand followers in like a month or whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all how I did that and that type of stuff. First thing I did to grow my TikTok account, I posted clothing brand help. Like I would help other clothing brands, give them advice and stuff. And it would gain me followers towards my clothing brand account. While I was posting the clothing brand, I did the little slideshows or whatever. I did the slideshows with the clothing brand help. But in the background of the slideshows, I was promoting my product also. So I would have the clothing brand advice. And then I have my product in the back also. I dropped beanies also for my first drop. I, I dropped them in December. And back to my how I grew my TikTok account very fast. Clothing brand help. And I also, I posted three TikToks a day. I stayed consistent with that. I did that for about a month. And I stayed, yeah, I stayed very consistent with that. Like, I didn't miss a day at all. I will try to switch up the content, like, to different content. Like, one video, clothing brand help. Second video, product promotion. And then third video, just whatever. But yeah, I did three TikToks a day. Stayed consistent. Didn't miss a single day. But I'm not gonna lie, starting a TikTok account, it was kind of hard to figure out how I was gonna grow the account to have over a thousand followers because in order to put a link in your bio, you have to have a thousand followers. So getting that first 1K, it might seem hard, but if you stay consistent, keep posting, you eventually are gonna hit that 1K and post good content. So yeah, I reached my 1K on TikTok, then I put my link in my bio. My website wasn't open at the time, so I just had like an email pop up or no, I had an email list. Yeah, they could sign up and put their email information in. So if you get views on your videos, they gonna obviously click the link in your bio because they're probably like looking for the product or whatever, or just like, they're just looking around on your account to see like what this link is or whatever. So yeah, they was clicking on the link, signing up for the email list. November, stay consistent. December is around drop time. I dropped like after Christmas because in my head, I was thinking like everybody was gonna have money after Christmas. So yeah, Christmas time came around, promoting the drop and everything, sending emails out to let people know that I'm about to drop, post it on Instagram, people, you know, comment, sharing, liking, and all that type of stuff. Then drop day came. I'm not gonna lie, I only had one order on drop day, and that was from my friend, but ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with having one order because that's still progress. So yeah, I had one order when drop day came. And that stuff, it do, it get, it get a little, it gets a little discouraging. But I stayed consistent while the drop was still going on. I was still promoting the product, doing all types of videos, testing out different videos and that type of stuff. Second day came, no sales at all. Third day came, it was a Sunday, mind you. I still, I'm still posting three TikToks a day, trying to get my product out there. So it was my first video of the day. Woke up at like nine or something, and I just posted a TikTok or whatever. Went back to sleep. And it had a little decent amount of views and i think that got me like two or three orders and then i was like if this type of video blew up why not just recreate it so i recreated it using a trending sound and i did the same exact thing i did in a video that had some views before and once i did that i waited a little bit got off tiktok and then i just seen like shopify orders just started rolling in and rolling in so i'm trying to figure out where all these orders coming from so I go check my TikTok and then I see that my TikTok blew up. Mind you, it is a pre-order. People are a little skeptical. It's the beginning stages of a video blowing up. So I'm getting orders, some people ordering. While they're ordering, I'm doing something called scarcity selling. I also had a scarcity seller on my website. It tells you how many left in stock. I feel like other clothing brands should use it. I talk about it basically in every video. Scarcity selling. Started scarcity selling the beanies or whatever. Well, what I did, yeah, like I said, I had a left in stock counter. It would tell how many are left in stock. And then on Instagram, I was also scarcity selling too. I was like saying, this is how many left in stock. Hurry up and get your order in before it sells out because black was my first color to sell out. So I was like, since black had already sold out because of the TikTok, I was like, hurry up and get your other color in before this color sells out next. Then I also did Instagram archive pages. Um, they promoted my product for me. 
you just send them money or whatever and they they post clothing brands and they give you a little awareness traction or whatever and the goal for my job really it wasn't even a sellout it was just like gain traction towards my clothing brand because my main goal was to just get my brand name out there it, it wasn't even a sellout also another thing i did i took the risk of getting my inventory made before the pre-order so basically i dropped but i already had the beanies in production so i could hurry up and like mm, like hurry up and ship it so basically when people were in comments they were asking like is it pre-order is it pre-order i was saying this thing called expedited pre-order because they were already in production so i feel like that might have done something too because they feel out like, they felt like they were getting their order faster than a normal pre-order so yeah i'll be like it's an expedited pre-order so your order should be here by this date that's really all i did tiktok instagram archive pages and scarcity selling scarcity selling should be at the top of your list when coming when trying to select your clothing brand so basically just add like a shopify app uh, a scarcity selling shopify app and they tell you how many left in stock or you can do like a discount app and a little sale discount app that's another scarcity selling tactic too. Like you could say the price was a hundred, but like mark through it and put like the original price. So for instance, say the sale price is a hundred and then mark that through and then put 65. So yeah, that's really all I did. Scarcity sell, TikTok and Instagram archive pages. If you enjoyed this video, have any questions, you can DM me, um, my socials are below, but subscribe, like, comment, do all that stuff for me so I can get out there and like I said, any other questions, you can DM me or just ask in the comments. See y'all in the next video.